Hello, welcome back to another You Ask, I Answer. This is going to be a tough one. Um, over the past few months, I got quite a few of these questions relating to the changes in the way PayPal and other services is going to report to the IRS regarding, you know, sales that people have. As of right now, this is 2021, uh, you can have you know, transaction up to 20,000 or I, or I think as long as your transaction is either 20,000 or less and the number of transaction is 200 or less, something like that. I don't do that much sales uh, with PayPal to completely remember the rule, but all that will change in 2022. It's gonna be 600 hundred dollars okay so a very small number um, and the question is how would that impact the hobby hard to say but it will certainly slow down somewhat right at the least it will slow down some participation of some people that's my guess my recommendation to everyone that have asked that question is keep a good record of everything you buy and sell going forward. You must. What I have done for over a decade now is I created a folder in my email that every time I bought something grab that email confirmation, whether it's eBay or comic link or who, wherever it is, come my comic shop and I drop it right into that folder to save, okay? Selling, they keep the record. Comic link, keep the record. My comic shop, keep the record. Uh, so, you know, and then of course, if I sell on YouTube, PayPal have the record, all right? So I, I have all the record of everything that I bought and sold. I don't buy things in cash. I sell something in cash, but everything that I bought is with a credit card. So there's a record of everything. I save all my email confirmation of everything I buy. So I have a record. Um, for sure, I think most people that ask me this question, I use a standard Talk to your CPA. Talk to a professional that know how to do tax reporting, um, and do the right way. Do things the right way if needed, because it's gonna change. You know, twenty twenty. No matter how you have been avoiding uh, and get away with reporting until now, twenty twenty two will change. Okay, PayPal is going to report all transaction. $600 or more. So it's not gonna leave a lot of room, not a whole lot of wiggle room for people to do a lot of sales and not have to report, okay? 20,000 is a lot. 600 is not a heck of a lot, okay? So, so in my opinion, that will impact many things, this hobby included because I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been able to get away with not reporting because it is under $20,000 of sales until now, right? And personal PayPal, you know, I have frowned on personal PayPal for a long, long time. I have never, never asked anybody to do personal PayPal because I have seen many, many people got into trouble over the past decade using personal PayPal. You can get away with personal PayPal for a while, but trust me, eventually PayPal will get you, okay? And the last thing you want to do is have your account frozen. Now, that has always been a sticky point with a lot of people because, you know, oh my God, I can't believe PayPal froze your account. Well, you are using their services for convenient. 
You know what I mean? It's to me, it makes no sense to complain about it. Uh, it's if you run a business, let's say you run a restaurant, okay, and you own a restaurant and you offer credit card payment as a mean of convenience for your customers. That's the cost of business. Sure, you can run a business say cash only, all right? You can do that too. But guess what? Some people will not eat at your restaurant because they want to use a credit card. And if you put up a sign say, hey, credit card will pay 3% more, if you wanna sit down and eat, some of those people will not sit down and eat, okay? So to me, using credit card, whether it's PayPal or what, whatever other services, it's about convenience. And as a business owner, I'm okay paying the fee. I have always tell every single person that asks me, do you want personal PayPal or regular PayPal? I'm always say, regular PayPal. You are protected, I'm protected. I don't have a problem reporting this stuff. It is what it is, okay? I don't mind paying the 3% fee. That's the cost of doing business. And I'm okay with that. I appreciate my comic shop and comic link, you know, sending me a check without deducting the 3% because the client pay the people that buy the books from my comic shop and Comic Link pay the 3% because that's the way they do business, okay? But at the end of the day, if anybody buy anything from me on YouTube, you know, I have always said regular PayPal is fine. And if you pay by check or money market, as some of you have done, guess what? I give you a, a portion of that saving back to you as a discount, right? So. I understand how other people don't like to do things that way because they like to beat the man. I just prefer to do things my way. But back to the topic here. I really think it's going to impact the hobby. How much we will find out because some people will frown on having to record that's just the way people are. You're going to see, um, it's always in this world, it's always going to be people trying to get around it. Okay, so I'm going to be very curious to see how the community, the fam, is going to try to get around the rules. Okay, that's how life is. Okay, there's always going to be people that are trying to circumvent all the rules or bend the rules. They're trying to cheat. Yes, I use the word cheat because that's what the rules are there for. And if you're trying to get around the rule, that's cheating. No other way to describe it. Even though if you hate the rule, it's cheating if you're trying to get around it. So it's always going to be people trying to get around that. And of course, one of the way is what? Paying by checks, right? But it comes down to trust. It comes down to like, you know, people that pay you uh, a certain way and you're not protected. So it will be interesting to see how this hobby and other hobbies will change because, you know, paying taxes will certainly dampen, reduce, lessen the profit margin, right? So for some people, having the margin squeeze maybe the tipping point of them saying the heck with this hobby is better way for me to make a few bucks instead of like trying to squeeze $20 profit flipping on modern books that will change on some people it won't change for me okay because I, I, I kind of target the higher end books so if I had to uh, you know pay 20% in taxes on the gain it's not a big deal. I have always said, don't worry about paying taxes. Worry about having the gain. Because if you have to pay taxes on gain, that means that you are making money, right? So on for me, 
that won't change much. But for some people, if they're playing on the slim margin area, that might impact the way they approach the hobby and might chase them away completely. Okay, so that's my answer. It will have an impact. All that yip yap, ultimately, it will have an impact. How small or how big, we will find out. But for sure, some people, some player, some participants will leave this hobby as far as the flipping, okay? Because there's not enough margin to squeeze once you have to take into account having to pay taxes. That just my take. I can't wait to see how things will change because I don't know, okay? I cannot wait to see how it will impact the hobby, but it will some way, somehow. And I can't wait to see how people try to circumvent it whole lot of trust okay we'll see who gonna trust who <laughs> thanks for watching bye bye